Hey guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test the thermostat. I'm also going to show you how a thermostat works. I'm going to show you under the hood how the coolant flows and what causes this thermostat to actually open up. So the first thing to understanding how a thermostat works is you need to know which way the coolant flows. Well, this top hose right here on the radiator, this is the outlet. It looks like an inlet, but it's actually an outlet. The bottom hose, which is this guy right here, that connects to the bottom of the radiator that's where it starts off at pretty much at the uh, water pump which is on the timing belt side which is over here the water pump spins and it sucks the coolant from the bottom hose and in this case on this engine right here there is a coolant pipe so this is the bottom hose right here that goes to the bottom of the radiator and the water pump is over here so it pulls it from the bottom spins it around and then comes back through the top of the radiator. So the top of the radiator is the hot side and the bottom of the radiator is the cool side. So having a quick look at this thermostat, basically this thermostat goes in right over here and I'll show you just in a minute where it goes. Where the bottom hose, this one right here, that hose right there, that bottom one goes up and plugs right in to the nipple that covers over the housing, the thermostat housing that goes over it. And this is how it would be put in, just like this. And this valve will start pushing. As you can see that, pushes in and out. Well, once this spring gets heated up enough from the hot side, the, uh, ref or the coolant starts to heat up and pulls this spring back. It starts to open up, allowing cooler coolant to go to the water pump and spin it around in order to drop the temperature of the engine. As far as the radiator goes, this is the outlet. We'll call this the exhaust, and we could call this the intake, engine terms. And here's where the thermostat goes right here. This is the nipple, this is the housing, and the thermostat will just go just like this. And once this side gets hot enough, which is this side right here, the hot side, it hits the back of this spring, and it pulls the spring back, opening up this valve, allowing the water pump to start pulling in cooler coolant to cool the engine down. All you need for the job is a source of heat, you need a cup with water, and your thermostat. If you're wondering how to read the temperature on a thermostat, you just come to the back here and most of them, pretty much all of them will tell you, it says 195, that's 195 Fahrenheit before this spring starts to compress, allowing the coolant to flow through there. Now pretty much every other thermostat is going to have a different temperature, it just depends on what your vehicle calls for, like most Honda Civics, uh, a lot of people run uh, a 180 thermostat in there, you can run a 195 but that just gets it a little bit hotter. <laughs> 